Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So we're going to do a couple of things today. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to quickly go into the barracks. There's a couple of mech warriors that can use a little bit of a skill upgrade. So Pylon has finally got enough experience to get gunnery up, but I'm actually looking here too. Plus 10% maximum sprint is nice for him as well, but I think... Yeah, I'm going to go with, going to go with gunnery. We know how hard this guy's been having hitting things. So I think the more weapon chance we have to hit, the better off we're going to be. So we're going to go that route. Now I think we're going to save up and go with piloting as well after this. Uh, so let's confirm this one. And then Raider, I finally decided we're going to um, uh, go with um, Tactician on her. She's basically the commander of the second lance. So I really want her to have, um, you know, the resolve gain and the minus 50% critical hits. Also, the minus 45 meter minimum range, uh, I know it was working well on the Panther, but we're also going to have a long range um, mech at some point in the future too, so I want her to be uh, on that one as well. So let's confirm that. So that's our pilots for now. Uh, we got lucky when we moved planetary systems. We got lucky with some of the uh, um, contracts we've got here. We've got two traps sprung, which is excellent. Uh, I think we get a, have a good chance of picking up some mech parts off this one. So this one's uh, Oximidian, um, which means it's not clan. And this one is Illyrian, which means it's not clan. So this is these two are good. Then we've got Clean Out the Mercs, which is great as well, because these are pirates. Um, so these three are actually really good ones that we can take. Um, bodyguards, uh, just defend the base. We might get something interesting off that. I'm not 100% sure, but that should be a relatively easy one, I think. We'll probably have to be up against three lances, but... I think we should be able to do that one as well. And then Lost Supplies, it's Steel Viper, but um, I don't think we can really take the Ambush Convoy after that uh, Half Skull mission that was pretty much a horrible uh, um, experience, the last mission. So we're going to stay away from the clans for a little bit longer, I think. we got to get our Wolverine up and running too. I'll feel a little better. And then there's a couple of ones up here. Um, these are Steel Viper. Where is it here? That's Steel Viper, yeah. So there really isn't... Um, uh, Hungry Wolves slip to the door. Doesn't really say who this is against here. Um, but anyway, this is a possibility as well. So we're going to do, I think, first thing we're going to do is going to do clean up the mercs. Um, it's against the pirates. It's two skull, badlands. We should be okay with this one. And we're going to negotiate it. And we're going to take full salvage, obviously. Really hoping that we can get some mech parts. So the last episode or episodes ago, um, we picked up um, a Wolverine. So we've got a Wolverine here. But we need like 300,000 to be able to just get it to a point where we can start building it. So we're definitely going to need some cash. So I'm thinking it would take Infusion Cores. But I think now that we've got like a certain number of mech parts for mechs, I think... Um, what we might end up doing is I'll pull rank again on this one. So if we get a chance for um, to finish off the catapult to the Zeus or something like that, I'll just choose just enough mech parts to be able to finish those up because we're close enough as it is. So we're going to deploy here and get this mission done. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. All right, this should be a straight up fight, I think. Um, I'm hoping we don't get reinforcements, but if they do, we know they're going to come from up there. So once again, this map, uh, we're going to make our break to the uh, right side here. Uh, if we do get reinforcements, we can always pull behind the hill here, protect ourselves from fire while we take on the guys down here, and then finish up. So that's kind of the goal. Going to reserve. So one of the reasons why I want to um, choose those last few mech parts for those mechs, one is to get them going, but I'm thinking that... Ah, uh, we got a vehicle. So um, I'm thinking that um, it's been the few clashes that we've had with the clans. Um, Boombox, nice. Uh, the um, they've been really fun and exciting. So I think we I think everyone kind of wants to get into fighting the clans. So we'll choose those mech parts that we need to finish off the inner sphere mechs that we need to be able to do that. And what I'll do is I'll use those mechs that we get to fight the clans with, and then. We'll continue on using the Light Lance to fight non-clan. 
um, targets. So he's got a boomstick. Oh, I want that really bad. Fluid gun and a painter. Look at the armor on this thing. Wow. Got it. You know what? Seeing this vehicle, it like, makes me wish we could actually choose vehicles. Could you imagine a vehicle like this with like like lots of armor and then like a pair of boomsticks on it? That was really fast. What do you need? All right, I need you to get over here. Um, let's put some missiles on this Understood. guy, please. So glad we got those clan missile launchers and that Artemis system. This Jenner is so ridiculously accurate right now. Yeah, I don't want you getting anywhere near that guy, so move back here, please. On my way. Double time. Thank you. Yeah, I can't wait to have a dedicated missile mech. I think the Centurion, if we get the Wolverine up and running, it's half decent. The only problem with the Wolverine is it's only got two laser hardpoints, two missile hardpoints, and one... Uh, sorry, two laser, two ballistic, and one missile hardpoint. Alright, uh, this guy goes on what, turn three? I don't think we have the juice to blow through this front armor in one turn. Um, ADHD much? Yeah, so uh, what I was thinking about with the... Um, let's yeah. move you back here. I don't want to get too close to this guy. Um, what I was thinking about is turning the Centurion in, into our dedicated LRM boat. Because he's got three missile hard points on his torso. You know, we could make him a slow like a lot slower. Wow, look at all those look at that. That's awesome. Oh, we might be able to punch through this. Let's get recoil up here. Um, what I want him to do, turn sideways like this. And we're gonna push this guy back a turn. We're just pushing him back, so I don't really care about what we hit and what we don't hit, but we're gonna go for the front and fire. Okay. It's gonna give our centurion a ch shot at this guy. I suppose that's a myth. Yeah, you'd suppose right. So I think if we can make a half decent build to kind of replace the Wolverine's front or our centurion's front line efforts. Wow. Thunderbolt missile launcher. Should have five Thunderbolt fives on that thing, I think. Light damage, Commander. So if we can get the Wolverine as our front line mech, that would be great. And then we can turn this guy into uh just a straight up um, LRM boat using all the clan LRMs. Could you imagine two clan LRM 20s and a clan LRM 15 on this guy? Just have him stand there and just shoot from a distance. Alright, we're going to fire everything straight in the front of this guy. I mean, I mean, we could go with the LRM version, like a long range version of it, but we could all. It's only four vehicles, really? Well, we got ripped off on salvage here. Well, maybe not. I mean, the boomstick will be nice if we can get it. So let's get right in close. I want to see what these guys are. Copy that. He's going to be shell-shocked again, but this is his job. He knew what he signed up for, so... Plus, he's an awesome... He's awesome at it, so... Uh, Alright, buddy. Let's see if we can blow a hole in the front of this guy. What do we got left here? 170. Yeah, we've got really good splash all over the place, unfortunately. So let's fire straight on him. Now let's see how you handle this. The thing about this lance right now is we lack a big heavy damage, heavy punch weapon. We got an, oh he's running away. We got an awful lot of splash, so we need to uh look at that. Only a couple hits. Oh he hit the flamer too. Oh obscuring paint. That's what it is. What do we got back here? Manicor, Vedette, Light Thunderbolt Carrier. So we're not facing very much here. All right. Um, yep. Hasn't been any reinforcements yet, so that's kind of good. I don't really want to hit that guy's side, but it looks like we're going to be forced to. All right, let's move into here. Let's keep all our options open here. I want to see what kind of armor we're dealing with on these guys to see if we can start on somebody. So this guy's got a ton. And this guy's not so bad, so the... Oh, is that the Manicor? Oh, that's the Vedette. Yeah, Vedette's relatively easy to kill. And this guy... Yeah, relatively easy to kill, so let's hit this guy anyway. 
90, 97% chance to hit. We'll just fire on him. Yeah, really looking forward to getting this Centurion up and running with the three uh, LRM launchers and the Artemis system. It's going to be crazy damage. Okay, fire everything on this guy. Nice shooting. Down to 20 on the front. It's weird that we hit, like, splash everywhere, and if we're shooting on the side, we hit the front a lot. Uh, let's get you up here. Gonna keep our side turned to this guy. Like that. And we're gonna fire on him. Okay, good. We cleaned that guy up. There goes the uh, LB-20X or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> yeah, you know who the threat is. Okay, Pylon is going to move up. I think we're going to attempt to take out this Vedette first. Um, let's get right in on him, but let's move into the trees. Eh, let's go from the side. What's the chance this guy's gonna hit us, though? Probably pretty darn good if we don't uh, make sure our back is protected. So we're gonna make sure our back's protected, I guess, and we'll fire on the side of this guy. Let's leave the small off, save a bit of heat. Oh, two hit, okay. Getting a bit better targeting. He's got obscuring paint, too, so... I'm thinking now too, like once we get um, the Wolverine running, I think I'm going to have to pull that NSS off of that urban mech. I still think though it was the right choice to put in the Irby, but I think we're probably going to pull it out once we get this Wolverine running. Just because the Irby is so easy to hit, right? Okay, that guy's gone. Destroyed. And recoil. Let's get you in here. Let's shoot this guy. Hey, let's see what this baby can do. Um, let's push him back a turn. We can get our both of our mediums going before these guys. So let's shoot right in the back armor. Fair enough. Ah, not quite. All right. Uh, let's get cold metal first. Let's sprint it up here. We're gonna double. Yeah, we're going to multi-target on this one. So, what's this guy got left in the back here? Oh, still a fair bit. Um, so, we're going to multi-target A and B. We're going to put these guys on B and laser are the uh, missiles on A and hopefully finish them up here. There we go. Just wanted to make sure we killed him. Okay, so we got the side damaged here. Was that the side or the turret? That was a front. Really? Really? Sure. Hit the front more from this. Hit the front more from the side, so. Let's see if we can get this guy to shoot for us. And we're gonna fire everything straight into the side. Firing on target. Let's see if we get the side of the front here. Yeah, we could have been in trouble. If that PPC hit more, we could have been in a lot of trouble. Yeah, we hit the front. I don't know how shooting it from the side gets you to hit the front. I, I, I don't know how that works. Yes, Commander. All right, let's squash him a bit. Let's go from this side. Maybe we hit the front again. Engaging. We got to cool off anyway. 45 damage, not too bad, I guess. And that definitely was the side. Okay, so cold metal. Um, let's get right up in front of him. Dump straight everything straight into his front. Okay, how do we do here? 
A lot of damage to the front. Alright, Hickory. Yeah. Let's move up here. Roger. And once again, we'll just fire everything at him. Maybe we get lucky, hit that front. There we go. Nice. Four up, four down. Mission successful. All right, 159,000. That's respectable. We did take a little bit of damage. I think the Phoenix Hawk was the only one that really got hit. Uh, no internal structure damage at all. Okay, so we want the boomstick for damn sure. Um, that's 10 tons though. Like that's still. Now it's still. Now it's making me think we should maybe like make a melee mech here for our our main lance. Uh, fluid gun's kind of nice. Minus 50% sight, minus 2 accuracy for 2 turns. Um, pirate medium laser gives us... Um, variable damage. It used to give melee, melee damage, but I guess it doesn't anymore. Plus 1 accuracy. Huh. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Um, pirate SRM 6, Thunderbolt 5, Taggers... Fusion Core 240. Let's take it for the cash because we had to sell one of those. TTS Indirect. That's 530,000. If we go for cash, that'd probably be worth it. Um, I wonder if we should just take the light machine gun. After seeing those, seeing um, a couple of clan mechs with like, lots of light machine guns on them. I don't know. It would be nice on the Irby for distance shooting. Um, these guys are worth how much? 250,000? Not much. Yeah, let's take this. Yeah, let's see what we got now. We got a lot of stuff. We got the machine gun. Okay, we did we did pretty well. A couple of Thunderbolt fives, internal combustion. So we got some stuff we can sell. That's good. All right, so not very much for repairs. And I think it's Firefly and Phoenix Hawk, so we should be able to repair those. So five days we're back at it again. So let's just do this. We'll take another mission today. Um, Hogweed, yeah. Let's put you in the mech bay, man. Or the yeah. Let's do that, man. Job's done. Thank you. All right, there we go. So we got four days of extra repair. That's nice. So um, we're going to go right into another contract. I think what we'll do is try and take something nice and light. Not that one, obviously. We've got two trap sprungs here. Let's take the one with more cash. Badlands, what's this one in the Badlands? Doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. Let's go full salvage. I think. Yeah, just in case. And deploy our standard lance and let's get this sucker done. Alright, here we go. So thinking that this trap sprung we're gonna have a guy up in the hill and then our reinforcements usually come from this side so let's start with pylon again because pylon is pylon and he is very good at his job so we'll be able to spot this guy in a couple of turns let's hope it truly is a heavy mech I really want those parts So, uh, just kind of in, th in thought here too, as we've, I've been playing, I've been thinking, we've got that clan, um, we've go. got that clan Ultra ultra uh, 10 Auto Cannon, which we can put in the armor of the Wolverine, and turn him into a uh, close range fire support. We can put a uh, SRM, if we can find a good SRM 6 launcher in dead fire ammo, we can put that in his Holding other to torso right too, for heavy punch. 
and then maybe a couple of medium lasers or something. Um, What's up, boss? All right, pylon. Let's see if we can find out what we're up against here. It's a mech. Okay. It's a light mech. I've got eyes on yeah. Don't know if that's a medium or what that is, but right here. let's get up here. We're gonna dust the guy up top and keep our height advantage. Full speed, no shoot. Got it. Yeah. Okay, we're all going to turn three here. I would really like it if somebody went on turn two, or even better, if someone went on two, turn one. Could you imagine picking up a Zeus? Okay, see what we're up against. And another light mech. We got a medium. Uh, one medium. Let's just reserve. See if we get any more guys coming up from the side here. Should be at least four of them, I think. I'm gonna reserve again. I'm wondering if that mech up there is an Irby. Let's reserve again. Yeah, there's no heavies. Uh, okay. Standing by. Let's get eyes on. Aye, aye. Nope, commando. Commando? Javelin. That's a lot of medium lasers. And no armor. So let's take advantage of that. Yipper. Yep. Okay, Hickory. Let's get up here. Can we get a direct line of sight? We can. Uh, but we'd probably be too close. Let's move over here for a better chance to hit, I think. And let's give guy this guy a good blast. Leave the medium laser off to maintain our heat. <laughs> Alright man, get up here and finish this guy off, will ya? Yeah, I'm just gonna fire everything straight into this guy. Goodbye. It's gotta suck though, if you're a mech pilot, or a mech warrior, and you watch one of your lance mates just go down like in a big ball of flames in like a, ha like a few seconds. Okay, it better not just be these two mechs. I'm gonna be so disappointed if it's just these two. Especially at one and a half skulls. Um, let's see what they do. No, I think there's more. Okay, let's get eyes on. See what we're up against. So we got a cicada. Is that what that is? We got a bunch of cicada parts too, and a stinger. So let's unload on the cicada. It's a 4L, two light rifles. Wow, this is a really terrible mission. Especially for one and a half skull. I was expecting a heck of a lot more. Um, we need to get you down here, so that the other guys can come down. Let's blast this guy with missiles. You do not come to a medium mech fight with like half armor. Nice. Got past the armor. Orders. Okay, pylon. Let's get down here. Going full throttle. Yeah, shooting on this guy. Affirmative. Ah. Oh. Well, it was long distance, so. Recoil. We get, oh, we can get line of sight. I don't think we can really shoot anything though. Maybe one of the me medium machine guns, or medium lasers, I mean. Yeah, three mediums, we'll fire them. Nice, one hit. Oh, I got the arm too, cool. Another guy back here. It's another light mech. Yep. 
Okay, is that the trees? That's the trees. Okay. Just want to make sure we have good cover. Minimize enemy, any damage coming in against us here. And we'll unload on this guy, including the medium laser. Okay. He's not having a good day at all. Waiting for order. Turning this way slightly because we got the stinger coming up on our left flank. I'm gonna push this guy back a turn so we can finish him. Wow, he's pretty much gone. No, uh, let's try for a leg shot. Well, got the leg. Got everything else too. Panther, okay. Definitely need panther parts. Since we lost our panther a little while ago. Just gonna walk it down here. Just engage with this panther. That must be like completely terrifying as a mech pilot to watch all that shit coming in on you. Like a couple of LRM six or uh, SRM sixes or stuff like that wouldn't be too wow. That was fast. One less target. SRM sixes wouldn't be so bad. Like you only see like twelve missiles coming, but then you know, you get a couple of LRM twenties or something. It's like forty missiles flying straight at you. It'd be terrifying, I could imagine. So that guy's already gone. Good to go. Um. Can we? We can only see him from one spot, eh? Uh, Pylon can get behind him, so we're gonna reserve. They got somebody else. Wonder if it's like an Earth. Oh, you know what? I bet you somebody stuck off the map board. Waiting for orders. That happens on this map. Sometimes people get stuck off the map board. I actually had a whole lance of reinforcements get stuck off the map board one time. Okay. Think I hit something good. He should be more than unsettled. What is? Right here. And we'll shoot everything into this guy's side, please. All right, that guy's gone. Tangled down. All right, so let's keep moving forward. Yeah, there is somebody stuck off the map board here. Um, just keep moving forward. The last time I, I think I remember this, it was half a lance stuck off the map board. And it was a couple of urban mechs, actually. I wonder if they just don't have the speed to get into the map in one turn. So they get stuck there because they don't know where to go. Oh, no, he's finally moving up. Bet you it is an urban mech. Yeah. Turn one, so yeah, it probably is. Um... Can we get eyes on? We can get eyes on. Let's do that. Let's move. Cattle master. Well, I was gonna say, oh, it's just as bad, but it isn't. This is like far worse. I don't mean worse in a in a in a oh yeah. god, we're gonna die kind of worse, but worse in a he's a really shit mech and it's worse than an urban mech for speed. He's about the same speed as an urban mech, but you know, he's like got zero firepower. At least an urban mech is scary, right? He's got an AC-20 on him, and he shows up, it's like, okay, we gotta kill that guy now. This should be it for him. Bang, you're dead. Alright, let's see what our salvage is. Ah, uh, 93,000, not bad. Putting us close to being able to, uh, pay off our uh, monthly financial report and hmm, we're not taking any mech parts so we got to take stuff down here and there is nothing worth our while wow well we did give these guys a really heavy pasting let's take the fluid gun and let's take the machine uh, the light rifles worth how much 50 well you know what we need a, we needed it as a backup 
because we've got it on our um, Centurion. And if we get a couple of these are four tons though. I was gonna say if we get a couple of these, we might want to put them on the uh, on the um, Wolverine. But I think we're, uh, Ultra Ten is probably the better idea. So we'll go with those two. Cattle Master and Stinger part. Yeah, yeah, junk. All right, there we go. Did we take any damage? We did not take any damage at all. Did they even get a chance to shoot? I don't even think they did. I don't remember anybody shooting at us. Wow. So that was a waste of hog we... Oh, well. Uh, unless there's something we can actually do here. Let's have a quick look at the mech bays. Is there anything we can build now? We still can't even repair the uh, Wolverine. We don't have an engine for the Locust. So there really isn't anything we can do. Um, yeah, just, <laughs> let's have a look at the, let's see if we can get started on this guy at least. Um, place the CT, pull out the primitive armor. Okay, so I think we'll get started on the Wolverine by doing this. Um, yeah, take that off. At least, let's at least get started on it. Let's confirm this. It's four days. That way we'll get at least something out of it. Yeah, I know we're having a problem here. I'll get it. So, yeah, it's four days, three days. So it should be back in four. So not bad. Um, so when we come back next time, we're going to take on the, uh, the next uh, mission, um, which is take the bait again. And hopefully we get something a little better out of that. I don't know if we are or not, but um, we do need a little bit of cash. We can sell an engine. We have some, some stuff we can sell. So I'm not really worried about the uh, financial report right now, but we do want to make enough money to uh, at least get that Wolverine in a position where we can start building it. So if you liked the video, please drop a like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and check out the other videos that I've got going on on my channel right now. I've got a couple of other, other uh, uh, series going on, another Rogue Tech series with the new version of Rogue Tech and a Battletech Flashpoint series going on as well. And until next time, we'll see you all later.